Late on Saturday, the Tunisian parliament adopted the 2018 state budget. 134 members of parliament out of 217 from the blocs of the Secular Nida Tunis and the Anmahda Islamic movement voted in favor of the project. The opposition parties either boycotted the plenary session or voted against the new finance law. <laughs> The ruling parties have just condemned Tunisians to poverty. The tax hike in all sectors is unprecedented and unacceptable. It will deter investors and slow down consumption. Tax evaders must pay and not citizens who are already paying too much tax. The government defends its new fiscal budget. The premier's cabinet claims the tax hike will boost the economy. The tax hike is one of the measures of the government's structural economic reform. It is one of the decisions that will trigger economic recovery and stabilize the state of finances. Over 700,000 public servants and at least 2.1 million employees in the private sector will pay more tax. In addition, the value-added tax on services will increase from 12 to 18 percent in January. We understand that Tunisia is facing difficult times. We want to help out, but increasing the tax burden on average earners will impact our purchasing power. Tunisian social security funds suffer from a deficit of about 2.4 billion dinars. The parliament approved a rise of 1% social security tax on employees and companies. Some analysts claim that the package of fiscal measures in the 2018 finance law will probably cut the budget deficit. However, nobody can assert with any confidence that increasing the tax pressure will put an end to the economic crisis. The Premier has reiterated his call on Tunisians to make concessions and prepare for the economic recovery. Adin Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.